Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Pandemic Gaga's cooking show. Boop. <laughs> All right. Um, if you're thinking the background, Michael is, we're watching uh, Trump do his speechy thing. But, listen. Let's see. To catch you up, we were doing white beans. Yesterday, I showed you how to make white beans. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put my... Crushed red pepper and a little salt in the beans. Remember, you can always add more, but once you put it in there, you can't take it out. So let that be your guide. All right, leave those there and let them just continue cooking. Now I'm going to teach you how to make. Um, a meatloaf. Now, I have a pan that's as old as the hills and stained and everything else, but this is my meatloaf pan. So, because I'm getting lazy in old age, I line it with foil. The heavier the foil, the better. And yes, that's a new piece of foil because I've already used my other one that we talked about the other day. I'm going to line this with foil so I don't have to scrub my pan later because uh, meatloaf, even when you spray it, tends to be a little on the stubborn side when you're cleaning the pan. So there you go. Just got it, whatever, like that. If you want to spray it and just put it in a pan, you just go right ahead. I'm not going to. All right, then I take some ground beef. I have about, I have about a pound and a half of ground beef. Boom. There you go on that. Now to this, now, here's the thing about meatloaf. You can put anything in them you want to. You can put the kitchen sink in there if you want to. That's why I'm scared I'm such a plain eater that I don't want to eat anybody's meatloaf but mine because I'm picky. But hey, whatever your family likes, you go for it. What you do need is an egg. One egg. And for me, you need some onion. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love to smell an onion. Where's my knife? I used to have a knife. Here it is. My knife. So I'm just going to slice. Some onion. I'm just going to take a hunk of onion. And I'm just going to slice it in smaller pieces and put it in there. Kind of like pull it apart. Boom. Now I'm gonna take some tomato sauce. Some I'm gonna pour some on there. <laughs> ah, then I'm going to take some whoa, some flour some like some a lot of people put Um, like bell peppers chopped up in there, um, breadcrumbs chopped up in there. I don't know what all. You can ask around and ask people what they put in theirs and add it to yours if you want to. Doesn't matter, but like I said, I'm a plain Jane. And I'm gonna mix this up real good. 
get that flour mixed in there. Whoop, get back here. And that egg mixed up. I'm gonna put a little more of this in there. Usually, if I'll get, for what I make for us, if I will get a one of those small cans of tomato sauce, I'll usually use that. But I don't have any right now. I just have the big container of it. So I'm gonna smush that around. Get it mixed up good. I've got my oven on 350 warming up, preheating. Cause that's what I'm gonna cook mine on, is 350. I don't want any um, flour lumps. Ooh, that'd be nasty. I smash around in here pretty good. Now, normally, here's what I would do. I would just smash that where it looks kind of even in the pan. And then, I don't know why I do this, but I go around the edge and pull it away from the wall of the pan and maybe it's just habit I don't know but that's what I do I don't have a reason now usually I would be I would put my topping on it and be done but Michael your husband has asked that I put some green peppers in his part. So, I'm going to take half of it, actually out of the pan for a second, and I am going to add some green peppers like this. I'm going to cut them up and I'm going to dice them up. It doesn't matter how many. I've just cut some pieces off of a green pepper. You could use a yellow pepper, red pepper. However colorful you want to be. And like I said, some people use breadcrumbs. I'm sure there's a lot of other things that they put in, um, which is all fine. So you can fix it to however your family would like it. And, uh, I'm going to add those to it, and I'm just going to, because I'm cooking for the family, I'm going to fold them in, get them all mixed up. It's easier to do it this way. Now, his has peppers and onions in it, and I'm just going to put this back in my pan. I'm just going to cook it all in the same pan. Now, there's that. Now, let's see. See how quick I'm being able to do this? It doesn't take long to cook. It really doesn't. I learned that because all of my adult life, while I was raising the kids or anything, I worked all the time. And I worked uh, long hours. 12 and sometimes 16 hour days um, when we were in season. That's a whole nother story. But it was always important to me to have a good meal at least once, a, try to have it once a day, when the, especially when the kids were little. Now I'm gonna take ketchup and I'm just gonna score it on top. And it gives it a little sweetness. Come on, don't fail me. Use my ketchup bottle. <laughs> you can put as much or as little or none, whatever makes you happy. See? You can smooth it out on top or you can let it be. I usually just let it be. And then I take some pepper all over the top of it. And I'll take a little salt. I 
done. I'm gonna stick it in my oven. You probably just heard it beep. It's ready. I'm gonna stick it in my oven. I'm gonna let it cook for about an hour, about an hour and a half. Um, after about an hour, I'll check it. And then if there's excess grease around it, because sometimes the hamburger meat, you know, has some fat in it, I will take my, if it does, I'll take my spoon and I will just kind of tilt just a little bit and get that grease off and um, get rid of it. And there you have it, hour, hour and a half. Let her get done. And if you're wanting to check it for you new cooks, if you're wanting to check it, you know, after an hour and 15 minutes to see if it's ready to eat, just, well, what's that? Pardon my onion. You can just stick your spoon down in there and take a peek and see if it's still pink in there. If it is, it's not done. If it's not pink, it could be ready. Get your bite and find out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, girls. Y'all make you a meatloaf and your white beans over there. And tomorrow we will make some fried corn. And I think just fried corn. And I'm gonna make some uh, sweet cornbread to go with my meatloaf dinner. And, uh, and then another day I will, I'll show you how to make the fried corn tomorrow. And then uh, another day I'll show you how to make the yummiest green beans you ever put in your mouth. I'll tell you what. Hope you guys have a good day. Um, this video should be showing on Monday. So I should have a um, new Bible study with all my depth in it um, coming out on Monday also. So y'all can look for that if you want to. I want y'all to have a good day. Enjoy yourself. It looks like Trump is telling us that uh, we may not start back at Easter. So um, we'll just take one day at a time. That'll be fine. We'll be good. If you need anything, like I said, give me a message me and uh, or want to talk about something in particular. <laughs> um, that'll be fine too. Just message me and let me know or just stick it on here and, and I'll see it. And uh, I'll, I'll try to help you if I can. You guys have a good day. Enjoy your meatloaf and your white beans. We'll make corn tomorrow, okay? Love you. Bye-bye.